Hi, I'm just out for a walk and I've stopped to film this for you because there's just so much of this plant that, that's behind me here um, and it's so overlooked and it really strikes me sometimes when I go out and I just see fields full of it and it's so useful yet just nobody seems to realise that it's there. It's so um, overlooked. So behind me here you'll see all these silvery coloured leaves. I'm just going to come in and give you a bit of a close-up. Um, you should be able to see them. There's some wild marjoram as well but um, the silvery coloured leaves there are just loads and if you turn it over to the back you'll see the distinctive um, colour of silverweed. So it's just it's it's all the way behind me here and you just find f fields full of it and um, the, the leaves when they're fresh um, have lots of medicinal uses and they're very high in vitamin C but what's so interesting about this plant is that this is what we ate the root of this plant before we imported the potato from uh, from Peru from South America and it's it just <laughs> it's delicious actually when you use it you dig it up in autumn and if you're interested in using it properly as medicine or food I've, I've got detailed lessons about it in my video course Learn of the Seasons but the, it always strikes me because as anybody who's ever grown potatoes knows it takes so much work to grow potatoes it takes so much land to grow potatoes and you know if uh, when they're non-organically farmed they're sprayed with loads of stuff uh, and if they're organically farmed it's lots of work and then uh, then they can still get blight when the weather's bad you know and then yet this is just anywhere that there's damp land it's prolific but also it grows in the cracks of your driveway you know and um, so it just sort of requires being left alone and then there's a bit of work in digging up the roots and so when I first read about this about them being sort of the, the native equivalent of a potato. I thought, why? Why did potatoes, um, you know, take off when they require all this space and work and this is everywhere? And then I dug up a silverweed root and it's got like the diameter of my pinky. <laughs> However, it is delicious. And when it's cooked, you've got to cook it. Uh, it. It goes really starchy. So it's got a lovely nutty flavour and it is actually quite filling. So, and, and, and it's just here. You know, it's just here. So it really, I walked through a field full of it to come down to here and then it's all around the edge of this little loch. And it's just, talk about overlooked, you know, undervalued, neglected. I just, um, I just love this plant. I, I, I really, really do. And I hope that more people start to notice it. So see if you can spot silverweed where you are. Potentilla anserina is the Latin name for it. And if you want to learn more, then I cover it in as wild food and herbal medicine in my herbal medicine and wild food video course, Learn with the Seasons. And also um, for its effects in natural cosmetics and natural skincare in um, both of my um, natural cosmetic making, herbal skincare uh, courses. One's for professional formulators and brands and the other is for home use. Anybody who wants to look after themselves with personal care products at home with herbs. There we are. Thanks for tuning in to Silverweed. 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 <laughs>